we're gonna create a spinning animation of coin as one as well as collected one as you seen so i am gonna leave of a sprite this coin and sprites in the description you can go and check this out okay so let's get into this so firstly what we're gonna do we're gonna rename this okay we're gonna rename this something like coin okay coin at uh, coin and what we're gonna do we're gonna make a uh, parent game object of, of coin okay we're gonna make a parent game object so we're gonna create two animation that's why we need to create else uh, the animation will just uh, will be messy so that's why we what we need we're gonna create an parent game object so go to hierarchy and right click or hit the plus icon over here and create an empty game object okay and we're gonna name it something like coin parent okay coin parent or something like that okay and right click on transform and reset that okay and drag the coin uh, coin into that coin parent game object okay and we're gonna drag the coin parent com game object into top in hierarchy so we can see it so what we're gonna do uh, so go to coin and right click and reset the transform so it will reset uh, the transform as the coin parent game object okay so if we move the coin parent game object uh, the child game object of coin will also move with it as you can see so what we're gonna do we're gonna create two animation okay we're gonna create two animations so select the coin and we're gonna move with the animation tab over here okay and what we're gonna do so go to assets right click create okay and name that folder to something like animation and into animation folder right click create a subfolder okay subfolder and name that folder coin underscore animation something like that as you can see i have created that so we're gonna place the coin animation into that folder so that's why so it will be organized okay so what we're gonna do select the coin child game object okay name that to so, uh, something like coin child we're gonna name this to something like coin child okay coin child and we're gonna create first animation which will be spinning one and the second one will be collected whenever the player uh, trigger with this coin or collect this coin it will move in the y and it will fade out okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna create the spinning one first so hit this create button okay select the coin child game object first and then hit the create button so we have we need to go to assets and as you can see we have created this animation folder so we're gonna go over to that and we have created this as a folder coin underscore animation as you can see so we're gonna place the animation over there and we're gonna name this animation something like coin spinning coin underscore spinning sorry I just misspelled it I guess uh, so coin underscore spinning so what we're gonna do we're gonna drag all of the frames or sprites of spinning or n2 animation tab before that we have to ha hit this record button to record the animation okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna drag the frames okay we're gonna select all of them and we're gonna drag it into animation tab okay and if we now hit play as you can see it's spin but it is too much first so what we're gonna do we're gonna make spaces between these key frames or uh, basically this is sprite so select like this and we're gonna move it over to something like 40 and if we hit play as you can see now it's fine so when you find we're gonna so hit the record button once again okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna create the second animation clip which will be the collected one okay so see is uh, select the coin game uh, coin child game object once again and hit this over here and we're gonna create a new clip okay and we're gonna call this something like coin underscore collected okay we're gonna call this coin underscore collected something like that and hit enter so what we're gonna do we're gonna move this uh, coin child game object in the y-axis and it will fade out so we need to make the alpha channel uh, less basically this uh, it will just fade out so what we're gonna do hit this record button okay hit this record button and we're gonna go over to something like one second okay and we're gonna move this coin child game object in the y-axis okay we're gonna move it something like this too i guess and we're gonna move it 
two uh, sorry three not three two and what we're gonna do we're gonna fade out this so to fade out what we need go to a sprite renderer of this coin child game object and select this color fill and in the bottom as you can see alpha alpha channel which is a so we're gonna make it less zero we're gonna make it zero as you can see it's fading out so if we now hit the play button as you can see whenever the uh, player collect this coin it will goes like this okay it will fade out okay so hit the record button once again now we have created those two animations so i'm gonna move the animation tab over here and if we go to animator tab so if we select the coin child game object as you can see by default coin spinning is playing okay as you can see entry and is directly going to spinning so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna transition to coin collect whenever the player collects the coin so what we're gonna do we're gonna choose a condition in which condition we want to go so we're gonna set a parameter and we're gonna call it something like collect okay it will be triggered so what we need in the left as you can see parameter so hit this plus icon and select this trigger and we're gonna call it something like collect i guess uh, okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna make transition to coin collect okay the so coin collect whenever the player collects so we what we need just right click on coin spinning and make transition to coin collect and uh, hit this uh, select this arrow and we're gonna choose a condition which condition we want to go so select this arrow and we're gonna untick this has exit time basically we're gonna go immediately coin collect animation we're not gonna wait something like that so that's why we're gonna untick this has exit time and we're gonna set transition duration to zero okay and we're gonna choose a condition in which condition we want to go as you can see we have uh, select this uh, created this uh, collect trigger as you can see we're gonna set this trigger if they we're gonna set this parameter to trigger okay so they, this will go to coin collect so we need to choose that condition as you can see so hit the plus icon so if we trigger this collect parameter so it will go to coin collect animation okay so what we need we have created this animation into child game object as you can see okay we didn't create it in the parent okay if i select the parent okay so it's also so what we need uh, we created in the child so it's also creating with parent so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna add component to coin parent game object first we're gonna add the box collider uh, first we're gonna add the rigid body and we're gonna set it to kinematic so it will not fall down as you know the rigid body is responsible for adding gravity okay so that's why and we're gonna make the uh, we're gonna add second uh, component which will be box collider 2d uh, which will detect the co if we collided with the player or not basically if we trigger it with the player or not okay so what we need we need to add those components so hit the add component button over here find the rigid body 2d first and what we're gonna do we're gonna set it to kinematic okay not uh, dynamic so it will fall down uh, due to gravity so we're gonna set it to kinematic okay and we're gonna select collision detection to continuous so it will continuously detect the collision okay and what we're gonna do we're gonna make a we're gonna add a oh, box collider 2d component for collision detection so uh, find the box collider 2d and hit enter okay and we're gonna resize this collider box collider 2d as the sprite okay we're gonna make it uh, behind this uh, black bar something like this i guess uh, uh, now it's fine and what we're gonna do we're gonna set is triggered to true basically checked we're gonna set it to true or to checked basically so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna assign this coin game object or coin parent game object as a coin tag so whenever we trigger with this coin okay uh, coin so uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna firstly go to this parent game object by this parent game object we're gonna access this child game object okay child game object as you can see an animator component has has been added to our child game object so this is responsible for animating the uh, coin as well as collecting the coin animation clip as you seen so so we need this component okay by this parent we're gonna access the child and we're gonna go over to this component basically we're gonna access this animator component and then we're gonna set this like, over here as you can see left uh, okay we're gonna set this collect parameter to trigger okay so it will go over to uh, coin collected animation clip so as you 
you can see we have chosen that condition over here as you can see collect so what we're gonna do we're gonna firstly make prefab of this game object okay so go to uh, go to assets okay go to assets and create a prefab folder and select the prefab folder okay uh, prefab folder and drag that coin parent game object into that prefab folder so i'm gonna delete this one i already have one so i'm gonna delete this one so what we're gonna do select the coin parent game object and drag it into that prefab folder okay now we have created uh, a prefab uh, if we now delete from this in view or hierarchy we can restore that by directly dragging it into scene view or hierarchy firstly what we're gonna do we're gonna assign this uh, a coin or a coin parent game object as a coin tag okay uh, so what we need so uh, select the coin parent game object as you can see in the inspector tag which is untag so we're gonna assign this coin game object okay coin parent game object as a coin tag so hit the uh, click on that untag and add tag and hit the plus icon and name that something like coin and head over to save it and after that head again to that game object once again and assign that tag to coin okay and then after doing it hits operates and then apply all so it will change in the prefab as well okay so hit apply all uh, what we're gonna do i'm gonna move this coin parent game object little down something like that and we're gonna we're gonna create an another script okay so uh, create so go to assets right click create a script something and call it something like coin manager or coin collect or something like pickup items okay so i already have created okay so uh, create that script first and drag that script to player game object okay to add component section so i already have drag it as you can see i have created this pickup item script so I'd, uh, i'm gonna double click it to open up in visual studio okay visual studio so we're gonna use on trigger enter 2d function basically that function is responsible for whatever we trigger with if we trigger with something so if we we're gonna use this uh, this function okay on trigger enter 2d function uh, trigger enter 2d function so basically this function get call or get trigger whenever we trigger with something as you can see uh, as you know we have assigned this uh, coin parent game object a, a box collider is triggered to true as you can see so we're gonna de definitely gonna trigger with this coin game object okay so uh, we can extract info by going to this other parameter as you can see on trigger enter 2d function over here as you can see other we can extract in for something like name tag collider some uh, all of those so what are we gonna do we're gonna check whatever we trigger it with if that game object has tag uh, coin tag so what are we gonna do we're gonna uh, we're gonna access the child game object of that game object as you seen we have assigned this coin uh, parent game object as a coin tag so we're gonna definitely gonna trigger with this coin game object so we're gonna check before that on trigger enter okay we're gonna check if other okay if other okay other dot tag or a game object dot tag so other dot tag if it's equals equals to coin uh, coin so what we gonna do uh, so make this curly brackets okay what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to uh, this game object and we're gonna access this uh, child game object as you can see we're gonna access this child game object and by this child game game object we're gonna access this animator component we're gonna grab this animator component and then we can switch up the animation as you can see if i select the coin child game object and if i go to animator tab as you can see we have created this collect parameter in the left so we're gonna access we're gonna set this to trigger and if it's trigger so it will go to coin collected animation clip as you can see we have chosen that condition as you can see collect so what we're we gonna do we're gonna firstly go need to go to parent game object basically uh, the game object whatever we trigger it with so we're gonna go so as you know we have assigned it coin parent game, game object as a coin tag so we definitely gonna trigger with that so what we gonna if that game object has uh, as a coin tag as you know so what we're gonna do we're gonna firstly grab that game object okay so 
फर्स्टली वी कैन गो टू आदर ओके आदर डॉट गेम ऑब्जेक्ट फर्स्टली वी कैन ग्राफ द गेम ऑब्जेक्ट पेरेंट गेम ऑब्जेक्ट बेसिकली डॉट ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू दिस गेम ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म कॉम्पोनेंट बेसिकली द पेरेंट वन एंड वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन चेक वी कैन गेट द चाइल्ड ओके गेट चाइल्ड एंड वी हैव टू पास द इंडेक्स द चाइल्ड यू वॉन्ट टू ग्राफ सो एज यू नो दिस वन विल बी फर्स्ट वन एज यू कैन सी द इंडेक्स विल बी जीरो ओके for the first child and if you create the second child by pressing control d uh, so that will be index 2 of that child so as you know this is the first child so this is uh, index will be zero so what we need we need to pass the index so zero zero is the first one okay so uh, what we going to do we going to try to get this component animator component firstly what we are doing firstly we are whatever we triggering with uh, we go, firstly we are going to uh, that coin game object okay and we are accessing the transform component by transform component we just accessing the child game object and what we going to do by this child game object we going to access the animator component so we going to get the animator component so get component you have to use okay get component and we going to what component we want to access uh, basically we want to access this animator component so we have to type that okay over here we have to type that so we going to pass the animator and what we need you have to make this first bracket and what we need we're going to set this by the, by this by going to this animator component we're going to set this collect parameter okay collect this parameter and you have to uh, name the we're going to set this trigger okay basically checked so what we're going to do we're going to set okay set trigger we have to use this function okay and we have to pass the same name as we did in the animator tab as you can see collect so we have to type the same name uh, as it there so we have to type this collect okay and end up with semicolon so what we are doing firstly this function over here on trigger enter to the function as you know if we trigger it with something at uh, this function get call and we are checking if that game object has tag coin as you know we assigned that coin parent game object as a coin tag so we definitely gonna trigger with that so what we are doing we going to that game object transform component first and we are just grabbing the child game object of that and by this child game object we are accessing the animator component as you can see by that animator component we are still setting this parameter collect parameter to uh, say we are setting set trigger as you can see so we will go over to uh, go over to collect coin collected animation clip okay if we trigger with this uh, coin uh, parent game object or this coin game object okay so control s on your keyboard to save this and add again to unity okay add again to unity you will able to see uh, the game object uh, whenever we trigger with this parent uh, coin, coin game object we're gonna go over to coin uh, collect animation clip okay so just wait for to compile and uh, just wait for to compile okay just wait for to compile and if we now hit play okay if we now hit play and if we trigger with this coin game object we uh, the child game object will play the uh, animation clip fade out animation clip which will go over to in the y axis now if we as you can see but as you can see we also need to destroy this uh, game object okay we need to destroy the parent game object or the game object coin game object we also need to destroy whenever the uh, animation is complete we're gonna uh, destroy after that we firstly we're gonna complete the animation okay so if i select the coin child game of uh, game object and if i go to animation tab uh, if i select the coin collected over here as you can see after one second as you can see we just completing the whole animation so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, we're gonna destroy this uh, coin parent game object after one second okay after one second so what we need we're gonna go over to script once again so uh, once again as you can see uh, we're gonna destroy that okay so we're gonna use this destroy function okay uh, destroy function and we have to pass the game object we want to destroy so uh, we're gonna pass the coin game object so we have to type this other okay other dot game object and as a second parameter you can pass the time okay the time we you can specify the time after what second you want to destroy so as you seen uh, after completing uh, 
we completing the animation clip fade out animation clip in one second so after one second we're gonna destroy the parent game object so with comma we have to pass the uh, time so we're gonna pass one second so basically one half okay so control s on your keyboard to one second and it again to unity so you will able to see after one second this uh, coin game object will get destroyed after one second we just completing the whole animation then we are destroying the game object basically parent game object as you know coin child game object is a child of this coin parent again if we destroy the parent game object the child game object all will also destroy with parent game object basically this is child as you know so if we hit the play button once again in the top okay and if we trigger with this uh, coin game object we will able to see it will just destroy itself uh, after one second okay so now if i collide as you can see after one second it's get destroy okay i hope you get the idea of uh, animating the animating the coin okay so if you are new to my channel then subscribe it for future tutorials okay and if you have enjoyed this video then like this and share it with your friends and if you want to support uh, my videos you can support me on patreon.com okay and lastly thanks for watching this video